Hello, Golden Blessings team. My name is Tammy Morrison I'm from Hendersonville, Tennessee. I just want to thank Milton for asking me to put together this short video for you guys. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my past and where I came from and actually how Milton and Debbie and I met and, and how we're still working together many, many, many years later. So, you know, my story starts a lot like many people's stories. I'd gotten a job. I actually loved what I did. Um, I worked for a financial company in the banking industry via the car business. So in 2008, we all know that that business completely imploded. Um, but during this time, right before that, I can't remember the exact year, I had met a man named Britt Gober. And Britt um, was working in a small nutritional company with Milton. And Britt brought me into the company. And I was in Milton's downline somewhere. And we worked really well in that company together. But um, honestly, I barely made enough money to cover my auto ship. Milton did much better than I did, as did Britt. But um, I just... I loved the products. I loved what it was, but I just wasn't making the type of money that I needed to, to be making to put myself in a position where I could be free. And so that company went under and, you know, Britt and I continued to work together in the car industry. And I went from being a, a dealer development representative all the way up to a dealer development trainer and then on to the national sales training position. So I was getting on the airplane every Monday morning. I was flying to a different city, uh, spending three days with strangers, people I didn't know, who I came to know that became my family. And I did that for, for quite a few years. But in 2008, I got a phone call. And actually, it was, I'm sorry, it was an email. And the email said, mandatory staff meeting. And I was on vacation, so I called my manager and I said, do I need to be on this call because I'm on vacation? He said, can you just hop on because we don't know what it's about. Um, as you all know, in 2008, um, the car companies and the big banks, the banks that couldn't fail, um, were bailed out. And I worked for one of those banks that could not fail, but they did. So in April of 2008, as I'm driving down the road, I get that email and I said, all right, I'll get on the call. So I pull over on the side of the road. I put it on speakerphone. And these are the words I heard is if you're on this call, you're safe. There's another call going on simultaneously. And we're closing every branch and buying center west of the Mississippi River. And we're laying off half the sales force. My heart was broken because these people had all been through my, my workshop, my three-day workshop. I knew them. I knew their families. I knew everything about them. So, you know, I made it through until late 2009. Um, in 2009, I got a phone call from Britt Gober. Now, remember, Britt had introduced me to Milton. Milton and I had worked together in this company before. So, I, you know, a firm believer in everything in your life happens for a reason. So if I had not had the job I had and I had not met Britt, then I wouldn't know Milton. I mean, this is just the way life is, right? So um, Britt called me one day and, and it was uh, September of 2009. And he said a very simple question. He said, if I ask you to save a gram of gold a month, would you? And I said, sure. What's the website? He said, we don't have one. And I said, do you have any gold? He goes, nope, we don't have any. And I said, okay, I'm in. <laughs> I mean, I'd always worked with Britt before. We'd always done really well in business together before. And so I knew that this was something that I needed to take very seriously because I had made a very, very conscious decision after that last company you know, went away is I will never do another marketing deal Unless somebody brings me something that I cannot go down to my local Walmart or Walgreens and buy something kind of like it. You know, I don't, if I can buy a weight loss pill, I can buy those anywhere. I don't want a travel company. I don't want a cell phone company. I don't, I, I want something that's different and gold is different. And so Cheryl Ann, which is Britt's husband or sorry, Britt's wife <laughs> told, told me, don't tell anybody. So I told everybody. And Milton was one of the first people I told. And Milton, I think, was the, the second or third person, only because the other two people contacted me back immediately, that I signed up into Care at Bars. And 
we did not have a website. We started building this company on a napkin, okay, a napkin. And then Cheryl Ann and I had to get really fancy and we created an Excel spreadsheet. And Milton was the very first name on my left team that I put into, into Carrot Bars. So he was my very, very first person on my left team. So as you know, Carrot Bars goes along and, and for a year, we built this business on an Excel spreadsheet. Still no website, still no gold, still nothing. But in my heart, I knew, I knew that this was it. In September of 2009, after I'd gotten that call from Britt, I also got a call from our HR department. And the HR department says, you've done a fantastic job. Um, we appreciate your services, but your services are no longer needed. So all of a sudden, I go from making $150,000 a year to nothing. Now, provided they did pay me till the end of the year, and I did get a severance package in January. So we really started building this carrot bars business in April of 2010. Okay. So I had my severance package. Everything was fine. But can you imagine signing up for something, knowing, absolutely knowing that you're not going to get paid one dime, nothing. You're not going to get paid anything. And we did that for an entire year. We got paid nothing. We just knew this was the right thing to do. So in 2011, we finally launched, and I'm so excited, guys, because, you know, at the time, I was trying to get a job, but I come from the car business and the banking business, and no one would hire me because they knew I'd been a national sales trainer before, and they said, if we hire you for this and you find something better, you'll just leave, and I said, you know what? You're right, um, so I took a, a job with a friend of mine as an internet uh, sales manager for his Ford dealership. I was making about a third of what I was used to making. Um, we don't live in a big fancy house. You know, I drive a very used car. My husband drives a very used truck. They're very nice, but they're, they're used, but they're paid for. <coughs> and um, so it was really, even, even with, with all of that, it was very, very hard to get by making so much less than what I was making. You know, at the time, the car wasn't paid for. The cars weren't paid for. None of that was paid for. We were, we were barely surviving. And, you know, so in 2012, we had to make that really tough decision. We had to make the decision to file bankruptcy. And people say, why do you tell people that story? And I said, because it's part of my story. You know, I think that, that people need to understand that if you see somebody that, that you perceive to be successful, realize they've been through some hard times. Not everybody goes through good times their whole life. I certainly have it. So in 2011, we launched the company. I'm so excited. I jump up behind my desk at the Ford dealership and I'm doing this happy dance. And then the first pay run comes and goes and I got paid 134 euro. Now remember, I'm working 15 hours a day for a year building this business. I am working um, at this board dealership, making no money, working carrot bars in between car deals. I'm doing everything I can to make this work. So I had to walk away. I didn't want to walk away. I walked away with my mind, but I did not walk away with my heart because I knew that I was supposed to be where I was, but it just wasn't the time yet. So in 2013, um, oh, sorry, let's back up. In 2012, a friend of mine called me. She says, Hey, Ally, which is the holding company for GMAC, remember GMAC goes under, and then Ally comes in, buys up all their contracts, and then she said that they're looking for an account executive for the state of Tennessee, and I was like, okay, here we go again, and so I did, I went to Atlanta, I interviewed for the job, got the job, I was doing really, really well, and you know, I enjoyed what I did, it was the same thing I did before, but I can never get that thought out of my mind is which day is going to be my last because I had been through this, you know, I'd been through this before, you know, I was a very valued employee and all of a sudden my services were no longer needed. So I had made the decision that if I'm going to be successful in life, then I have to take care of me myself. I don't want to make other people rich. You know, I don't want to make other people money. I want to make myself money. So um, in 2000, 
and 12, I, I got the job, it's doing really, really well. Everything was going good. Um, we had gotten, you know, to a place where we were comfortable again. And then I get a call from Cheryl Ann. And Cheryl Ann says, um, everything's changed. You need to come back. And I said, to where? And I thought she meant church because I used to go to church with her, but it's like a 37 mile one way, you know, trip to get to her church. And I started going to church in, in, in my hometown. And she said, you have to come back to Carrot Bars. And I said, honey, I can't. And she said, why? And I said, I signed a contract with my husband that said I would never do anything outside of working a job ever again. And she says, well, you're going to have to break that contract because nothing else matters. Get a package. And so I did. And I got a package and we had it delivered to her house. And the we went over, I went over to her house. I picked up the package. I hid it in my car, guys. I hid it in my car because I couldn't let my husband know what was going on. And um, about two weeks later, I had made enough money. And I started with the gold package and I'd made enough money to get the VIP package. And I really, really wanted that VIP package. So my bonus come in, comes in from work and, and I write it down in my checkbook and my husband's like, you know, what's up with that? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> it was a rough month at Ally. So didn't really make that much money. And then I forgot, guys, that the FedEx delivers it to your house. We hadn't asked them to deliver this one to Cheryl Ann's house. So I come bebopping in the door one day, and my husband was, he owned his own landscaping company. And it was raining the day that the package was delivered. And he said, you have something from FedEx. And I said, really, what is it? Who's it from? He said, I don't know. I said, let's open it up. So we open up the package and it's a, my beautiful VIP package. And I said, honey, will you take a look at this? I have made VIP and look what they sent me. And he said, who is they? And I said, they is carrot bars, but I'm not allowed to say that word in this house. And so he was, you know, he was so mad for probably 20, 30 minutes and stomping around the living room. You promise you signed a contract, blah, 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 blah. So I pull out my phone. And I log into my Carrot Bars account and I show him my commissions. And he said, what is that? And I said, well, that's in Euro and you can convert it to US dollars. And he goes, I know that, but where did it come from? I said, it came from Carrot Bars. And he said, are you going to jail? And I said, no, we're going to the beach. So it was a very, very exciting time for us. He told me, just go for it, baby. And so I just went for it with everything that I had. Um, in 2013, I remember going to our very first freedom celebration. We had it here in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, there was maybe 500 people there. And I was looking, I was, remember, I'm still working that corporate job. I'm still traveling to different cities. And, you know, with this job, I was driving. So I was driving like 4,000 miles a month. So I'm driving to different cities, but I was finding myself in the hotel room in the morning, couldn't make myself leave to go to work. You know, I really didn't have anybody keeping tabs on me. I was working my Carrot Bars business. I had my laptop out and I'm calling people and I'm telling them about Carrot Bars. And it got to the point where I couldn't do both. There's no way. I was working 50 hours a week sleeping maybe a couple hours a night because I was every moment that I wasn't at my job, I was working my care bars business. So, you know, in 2013, we had the first freedom celebration. And I said, you know, ask God, I said, just send me some signs that, you know, what I'd need to do. And I'd been talking to a friend of mine in Australia and I asked him, I said, you know, when do you give up the guarantee, you know, the guaranteed, um, check every two weeks, the guaranteed bonus, um, the company car, the, the, the company uh, credit card, when, insurance, when do you give that up? He goes, you'll just know, you know, you'll, you'll know. And when it happens, everything's going to change in your life. Um, the grass will smell better. It'll feel crisper on your feet. Food will smell more fantastic. Um, the air will be crisper. Everything, you'll just know. And so 
I asked God to send me some signs that weekend. And actually the person that I've been talking to from Australia flew from Australia to Nashville for this event. And as I pull into the hotel for the, the first night, um, we did a meet and greet. And there was a Rolls Royce in front of me. And I'm not kidding, guys. The vanity tag said Stuttgart. It was like S-T-U-T-G-R-T. -T. And I'm like, okay, Mr. Sites did not drive here. So that was my first sign. And the whole weekend, and with the whole weekend, it was just full of, of affirmations and confirmations that I was where I was supposed to be. So on Saturday night, um, I was called up on stage to receive my Bronze Director Award. And, and Albie, which is the guy I was talking to, um, he was sitting in the front row and I looked him dead in the eye. And I said, you know what, guys, I can tell myself anything. And I don't have to hold myself accountable. But if I say it to you, then I have to hold myself. You have to hold me accountable, right? So in 2009, corporate America laid me off. Monday morning, corporate America is getting laid off. Guys, I've never looked back one moment. I've never regretted one moment. I just celebrated my 10 year anniversary with Carrot Bars um, in April, 10 years in April, because remember I was here a year before we were open. And in October, I'll be ce celebrating seven years of being free. And being free is amazing. Being free is so wonderful because I don't have to ask, you know, can I take time off to go to my daughter's volleyball game or a field trip, or can I take time off to go to, you know, go on vacation with my husband or, or, or do the things that we want to do in life. But, you know, from October, 2013 till now, you know, I've been here in this office. I've traveled all over the world. I've never thought I would travel places. I never thought I would go to Germany quite a few times to South Africa a few times to Amsterdam all over every all over cities in the United States when we did the world tour in 2019 um, it's it's just been an amazing journey but here's the point I want to make okay and the point I want to make is this is even if you come into carrot bars and all you want to do is to save gold okay that's all you want to do you don't want to be a networker you don't want to be like me like Milton, you just want to have the opportunity to have a free gold savings account. Okay. It's free, you know, it's free to join. So if that's all you did, let's talk about my circumstances. Okay. When I started seriously saving in gold, okay, seriously, when I came back in 2013, it was around 11 or $1,200 an ounce, somewhere in there. Okay. A couple of days ago, it broke $1,900 an ounce. Now, imagine if I had put the money that I put into gold in the bank, as opposed to putting it into gold. I would have lost money in the bank because they're paying, you know, 0 0.002, um, whatever it is. And then you get your fees and all that on top of it. So I converted so much of my money into gold. Why did I do, why did I do that? Because in 2008, when everything hit the fan, my 401k was cut in half and nobody had to tell me why. They just said, sorry, you've lost your money. And so I pulled every single bit of money I had left because I didn't want to lose any more. I pulled it out. And started in 2011, the only thing I've had since then is what I call a 999.9K. Because our gold is 999.9 .9 pure 24 karat gold. So if you look at my bank account, you would honestly think I was homeless. I, mean, I don't keep any money in the bank. I, I checked the other day, I had $7.56 in my bank account. <clears throat> I, I don't, I have a savings account. I think it has $50 in it because I don't save money in paper. I save in gold <clears throat> and gold is, you know, gold is God's money. So, um, you know, I just implore each and every one of you get registered, get yourself set up on auto save, acquire some cash gold, because even if all you do is acquire gold, 
you're going to win in this company. So thank you guys so much. Um, I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Have a great night.